This is the Milwaukee 18 volt cordless impact wrench. It's the most powerful 18 volt cordless impact wrench on the market. It can produce a massive 610 newton meters of torque, which is absolutely unbelievable. To give you a comparison, this is my torque wrench that I often use at home, and the maximum torque on this is 200 newton meters. The maximum torque on this is 610 newton meters. It's an absolutely beast of a machine. It is so powerful you wouldn't believe it. Uh, it's made to the same build quality as you'd come to expect from Milwaukee. It is a, a very well made piece of equipment and it does feel very sturdy. So I'm just going to run you through a few of the finer points now. One important thing when you're using a powerful tool like this is that you must use safety glasses. They're absolutely essential. So it comes in a sturdy plastic carry case like this and you'll also get some instructions with it. And also you'll get a guarantee and you can fill it in online, you can get an extended guarantee for most Milwaukee tools. So what's special about it? Well this particular kit comes with 3 amp hour batteries and uh, they're not that heavy to say they're 3 amp hour because some 3 amp hour batteries are very heavy and these Milwaukee ones have a unique function in that if you press that button there it'll tell you the actual charge that's left in the battery and as you can see that one's flat. So that's the charger, so all you need to do is plug that in, put the battery on it and it'll charge that up. So if we take the machine out and just check the battery on this one by pressing the button and you'll see that that one is fully charged. So it's basically like a drill, only it's a cordless impact wrench. So it's the same principle as you're using a drill, so you've got your forward and reverse selector at the top there near the trigger. So if you're right handed if you press it with your forefinger you're going to go forwards and if you press it with your thumb you're going to be in reverse. Removing the battery from the machine is also very simple. Just press those two tabs in and you can pull the battery straight off. And likewise when you want to put it back on all you need to do is push it on. And that's it, it's locked back in position and that's the battery firmly fixed to the machine. It's important when you use a, an impact wrench, if it's electric or a pneumatic one, you've got to use impact sockets. These are special sockets that are hardened uh, and they're much harder than a normal socket. If you use a normal socket on an impact wrench there's a good chance that you'll damage the socket. Uh, it could disintegrate, hit you in the face and scar you as uh, I've recently found out by reading a post in my forum because it's actually happened to somebody. So you better stay staying safe, stick to the impact sockets. If you don't know the difference between an impact socket and a normal socket, a normal socket looks like that. So if we get a 24mm impact socket and a 24mm normal socket, you can see that the wall of the socket is much thicker. And that's so that it can cope with the increased torque that you're going to get from a machine like this. So when you come to use this, you'll notice that on the end, it's got a special pin there to retain the socket and it can be quite difficult getting your socket off that. Uh, some of them have a ring on, a lot of the pneumatic ones have a ring that retains the socket. So if I just put a socket on here, if you actually look at the socket, the socket's got an hole in it as well. Now it can be quite difficult to get the socket onto the drive part of the machine. So to get the socket on you need to press that pin in with something. So what I normally do is get it lined up. You have to put the wrench down to do this obviously. So I'll get it lined up, press the pin in and then push the socket on. And once that's on there, you're not going to get it off easily. There's no way that's going to fall off. So once it's on, you're ready then. You've got a powerful machine in your hands that you can use to undo or tighten any nuts. But the downside if it being so difficult to get the socket off is that you need a tool to get it off again so I normally just put a screwdriver in there and then you can pull it straight off. Now it's hard to show you exactly what this machine can do because it's so powerful there's not many fasteners that it won't undo and if I remember rightly it'll undo or tighten up anything up to a, an M20 uh, in size which is a, a furrow size and I actually took this machine into work 
at the shutdown and I actually used this on a few jobs and uh, on a couple of occasions I tightened up a few nuts and bolts and then I went to check them using a spanner just to make sure they were tight and they were absolutely no way at all that you'd move them. So you've got to bear that in mind when you're using it. If you tighten something up with it, you might not be able to undo it afterwards. I'll never use a machine like this for doing wheel nuts because there's a good chance that you're going to over tighten them. Uh, you're much better off just spinning it up with this loosely and then just torquing it up finally using the torque wrench and you can then torque it up to the specified torque that the manufacturer recommends. So it's a fantastic machine. The batteries last a long time because they're 3 amp power and uh, it's very powerful. So I'm just going to give you a, a quick demo now. So to give you a quick demo, I've got an M20 nut and bolt here and the nut is actually a nylock nut so they're tight to begin with and I've actually used a thread locking compound on there so that is reasonably tight. So I'm just going to put that in the vise and tighten that up. Now to tighten this I actually use this socket and this breaker bar. To undo it I'm going to have to use this socket again because I don't actually have an impact socket the correct size to go on there and I know I've just told you not to use these but for the purpose of the demonstration I'm going to use this but I have got my safety glasses on and as an added precaution I'm going to put this visor on so I'm just going to put the socket on the machine and then I'm going to push the selector with my thumb so it's now in reverse and we'll just check that And now we'll just try and undo this. So if you look at that you can actually see the thread locking compound that was on there that was locking it and it undid that no problem at all. So that's my review of the Milwaukee 18 volt cordless impact wrench. They're not the cheapest machine in the world but they are superb quality and this one's got a staggering amount of torque and uh, it's one of those things I wish I'd have bought one years ago absolutely brilliant so thanks for watching